We are one day away from the release of Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, the Skybreaker DLC, and there will be quite a substantial update coming alongside the release of the first expansion. Avatar Theory here, hope you're doing well and having a fantastic day, and as I said, the new expansion DLC, the Skybreakers pack, is releasing on July the 16th, but recently on the Ubisoft website they released an update that will be released alongside the Skybreakers story pack. Now the biggest thing to note about this is the size of it. On Xbox it will be 14.45 gigabytes, on PS5 it will be 15.33 gigabytes, and on PC it will be the biggest at 17.22 gigabytes. So quite a substantial uh, update to the game itself and the company text or description with update 4.0 does say quote the first story pack for Avatar Frontiers of Pandora the Skybreaker will be available tomorrow July the 16th for owners of the season pass. A mysterious shadow looms in the sky threatening the Navi clans below who are celebrating at the great festival of games. To protect the western frontier, you must face the RDA once again and save your allies. To access the story pack content, you will receive a radio call from Priya following her instructions when you're ready to start playing the story pack." End quote. Now it does add a little bit more about something that people were qu questioning about in terms of how do you start the story pack, can you start it if you've not yet completed the main game, but they do add it, they did add this little bit so I'm just gonna run through it and then just give my overall thoughts on it. So. The text reads, quote, The story pack continues the events of the main game. If you wish to access the story pack faster, you can do so after finishing the main quest Songs of the Ancestor. Go to your quest log, select the quest and invitation, then you can opt for skipping ahead to start of the Skybreaker story pack content. This will skip ahead through the events of the main story and equip you with everything you need to experience the story pack content." End quote. So there you have it, you don't need to finish the main game, although it is highly advisable that you, story, that you finish the main story if you want to follow you know, the story of the game, but if you don't want that, if you just want to jump straight into the expansion, then you need to finish the quest up to the songs of the ancestor, then you'll get the invitation which basically starts the expansion. Now continuing on to the update, they do talk a little bit about the Skybreaker story pack but we know this already, but I wanted to go on to the notable fixes which says quote, purchased Ikran patterns will be available on all saves instead of being locked to a single playthrough, end quote. So this is something they said they fixed already and then apparently it wasn't fixed so let's hope it's actually fixed this time and then some general improvements, it's just improved AI behavior, the staff sling has been balanced for better adapt to the player's level, you can now sprint for longer, you can now jump more consistently. All of these are quite nice to general improvements. Then it goes on to progression updates which states, quote, you can now use skill points to permanently improve your character's damage, energy and health up to four times each after you have completed the main quest storyline. You can now progress up to rank 25 and also say we have made some improvements to random loot and rewards. Loot now scales better with your character progression and random loot is more likely to be relevant for your slots most in need of an upgrade. Very interesting progressional update there focusing on your character and then finally it says added a new legendary rarity category. And then lastly it talks about some dire horse updates States, which states, quote, the die horse can now perform a great jump. It's now possible for the camera to switch shoulders while riding by performing a melee attack input, improvements to the riding camera, handling and animation, and lastly, while mounted on a dire horse, you can now ride through deeper waters more effectively." End quote. So quite a bunch of uh, updates, including of course the expansion itself, hence why it's such a sizable update. It is one of the biggest ones we've received for this game, and overall, you know, quite a bit to take away from this update, from the new animations for the dire horse, the improved AI, the longer sprinting motion, and then when the expansion releases, of course, you can rank up to 25, legendary gear and most importantly knowing that you don't need to finish the main campaign to start the DLC content. But like I said we are one day away from the release of the expansion but are there some issues you're experiencing with the game that's not in this update and what do you think of this update? If you've not yet purchased the DLC then I believe the game is on sale right now, it is a good time to buy it but let me know in the comments below what you're hoping to see from the DLC content. For more Avatar content have a look at the rest of my channel and until next time, have a fantastic day and stay safe.